Hey everybody, how are you doing? So here I am again with another video. My name is Tiago, I am a painter and architect, and this video will be about Mark Radin, one of my favorite artists of all time. So actually, I get really inspired by him and really inspired by his themes, the way he paints, the way his frames are. So it's really something that is very close to my heart. Oh, and today I'm using my t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> so this is my t-shirt of a painting that I have called The Mermaid. And you can get this on my website and also on my Instagram shop. So be sure to go there and see what's available. So now let's go back to Mark Radin. As I was saying, I get really inspired by him. I even did a painting of his when I was in college. I did a reproduction of it. It's the best way of learning. It's copying artists that you really love. So that is a great way to go in about it. Now let's start. So uh, he was born in Oregon in 1963 and uh, he is known by he is known by blending pop culture and techniques from the old masters so that all that you can see that blending you see an icon that you recognize from contemporary culture but you also see the technique that makes it look old and have that uh, very dark uh, essence to it so he also uh, designed uh, uh, album covers for artists like Aerosmith, Michael Jackson, uh, Red Heart Chili Peppers, and he became known in the 90s for uh, coming out with the pop surrealism. That is a term that is used for combining art culture for our, from our contemporary side with old techniques and he became really known in the 90s for that. He has a subject matter that is with cute and dark mystery and so he blends like these little carrots, these little girls in a dark environment, almost cryptic and also in uh, enchanted landscapes. So that makes it very uh, appealing to most of the, the population because you can instantly look at it and be mesmerized by it. He is married with Marion Peck. She's also a pop surrealist artist. She has amazing art. And they are considered kind of the king and queen of pop surrealism because they live now in Portland, Oregon, but they are mostly known in Los Angeles and worldwide, where a lot of galleries have that demand for that kind of art. He also uses uh, Baroque frames, a lot of Baroque frames to give it that old effect and that mesmerizing effect. And his technique is oil painting. He uses many glazes, he does uh, a lot of detailing so that his paintings have that depth and that feel that you are captivated by them. He draws inspiration from uh, classic painting like the old masters, from Italian painting, French painting, that romantic period from the 1800s. And he also draws inspiration from old toys, religious icons that you can find in flea markets. And also he draws inspiration from anatomical uh, models. That's why you can see some of his paintings that have like the bowels showing or some uh, anatomical feature showing. That is uh, some of his most deep inspiration. He uh, was commissioned to design the costumes for a ballet piece that had the music from Strauss called Whipped Cream. If you haven't seen that, go check that. You can check it on YouTube. The costumes are just amazing. You will love it. 
he um, he started by blending that uh, technique of uh, the pop surrealism and bringing old styles of painting into our culture and that's what I love the most about him is that he brought that old style of painting that uh, grisaille that uh, those glazes of color into modern painting and make it something that is easily recognized by all our culture so guys I think this is all I will be also linking some of his work in the description below and I will also be uh, having a slideshow of his artwork somewhere here nearby. So if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them on the comments below and turn your notification bell so that you know when uh, I post another video. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.